Sermon 110. Caution about this world. So now certainly, I frighten you from this world, for it is sweet and green, surrounded by lusts, and like for its immediate enjoyments, it excites wonder, with small things, is ornamented with false hopes and decorated with deception, its rejoicing does not last and its afflictions cannot be avoided, it is deceitful, harmful, changing, perishable, exhaustible, liable to destruction, eating away and destructive, when it reaches the extremity of desires of those who incline towards it, and feel happy with it, the position is just what God, the glorified, says in the Quran. Like the water, which send we down from a heaven, and the herbage of the earth mingleth with it, then it becometh dry stubble which the winds scatter, for God over all things hath power. No person gets rejoicing from this world, but tears come to him after it, and no one gets its comforts in the front, but he has to face hardships in the rear, no one receives the light rain of ease in it, but the heavy rain of distress pours upon him, it is just worthy of this world, that in the morning it supports a man, but in the evening it does not recognize him, if one side of it is sweet and pleasant, the other side is bitter and distressing, no one seek you as enjoyment from its freshness, but he has to face hardship from its calamities, no one would pass the evening under the wing of safety, but that his morning would be under the feathers of the wing tip of fear, it is deceitful, and all that is therein it is deception, it is perishable, and all that is on it is to perish, there is no good in its provisions except in piety, whoever takes little from it, collects much of what would give him safety, while one who takes much from it, takes much of what would ruin him, he would shortly depart from his collection, how many people relied on it, but it distressed them, how many felt peaceful with it, but it tumbled them down, how many were prestigious, but it made them low, and how many were proud, but it made them disgraceful, its authority is changing, its life is dirty, its sweet water is bitter, its sweetness is like myrrh, its foods are poisons, its means are weak, the living in it is exposed to death, the healthy in it is exposed to disease, its realm is liable to be snatched away, the strong in it is liable to be defeated, and the rich is liable to be afflicted with misfortune, the neighbor in it is liable to be plundered, are you not residing in the houses of those before you, who were of longer rages, better traces, had bigger desires, were more in numbers, and had greater armies, how they devoted themselves to the world, and how they showed preference to it. Then they left it without any provision, that could convey them through, or the back of a beast the riding to carry them. Did you get the news, that the world was ever generous enough to present ransom for them, or gave them any support, or afforded them good company? It rather inflicted them with troubles, made them languid with calamities, molested them with catastrophes, threw them down on their noses, trampled them under hoofs, and helped the vicissitudes of time against them. You have observed its strangeness towards those who went near it, acquired it, and appropriated it, till they depart from it for good. Did it give them any provision other than starvation? or make them stay in other than narrow places, or give them light other than gloom, or give them in the end anything other than repentance. Is this what you much ask for, or remain satisfied with, or towards which you feel greedy? How bad is this abode for him, who did not suspect it to be so, and did not entertain fear from it? You should know, as you do know, that you have to leave it and depart from it while in it take lesson from those who proclaimed who is more powerful than we but they were carried to their graves though not as riders they were then made to stay in the graves 
but not as guests. Graves were made for them from the surface of the ground, their shrouds were made from earth, old bones were made their neighbor. They are neighbors who do not answer a caller, nor ward off trouble, nor pay heed to a mourner. If they get rain, they do not feel happy, and if they face famine, they do not get disappointed. They are together, but each one apart. They are close together, but do not see each other. They are near, but do not meet. They are enduring, and have no hatred. They are ignorant, and their malice has died away. There is no fear of trouble from them, and no hope of their warding off troubles. They have exchanged the back surface of the earth, with its stomach interior, vastness with narrowness, family with loneliness, and light with darkness. They have come to it this world, as they had left it with bare feet, and naked bodies. They departed from it with their acts towards the continuing life, and everlasting house as God has said. As we caused the first creation, so will we get it return, a promise binding us, verily we were doing it.